a fitting backdrop for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outfox the other. Don't go anywhere, all the action coming up next. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Italy versus France. And maybe Rabiot! And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. And short it is. Sliding in and winning the ball. Retegi. Verratti. Varela has it. And he's in. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Rafael Toloi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Kylian Mbappe plays with Kingsley Coman in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, that was a big chance for France to take the lead there. But what a brilliant save from the keeper. He's really pulled out all the stops on that occasion. Well, attacks are plenty, but now defensive resilience is what's called for. Real chance and getting across to stop it. Played over and fisted away. And space for him to cut in. Oh, this looks useful. Could be. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Can someone get on the end of this? Not away completely. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, great attacking play. Griezmann! And space to cross it. And it might be... And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. And a good tackle. Chouameni. And teammates around him. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. France giving away possession. To jump in front. And still danger here. And cleared away. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. And France with acres of space to attack. Opportunity it is. And off target in the end. And that'll be a goal kick. Jorginho. Barella has it. Barella. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. Can they forge ahead? 
Well, that's a really top-notch piece of defending. The first half here comes to an end. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Radio. And a fine tackle. Really good build up, but no end product. Spina Zola. The fans want to see a shot. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Superb block. Jorginho Matteo Retegi Verassi Verassi Well it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be Promising move this from France Nicely blocked Nyonto Verratti Is this the moment? And they couldn't add to their advantage Well that would have put them in complete control He should have scored there Substitution then Let's see how it affects the match the challenge that was required just 20 minutes remaining now Verratti Barella has it the crowd encouraging him to take it on it's gone in well they're really in the mood here can they be stopped Well, just look at this dribble from Varela. He goes past the defender so easily, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Mbappe able to get his body in the way Retegi and the counter-attack is on options available ball back with Italy now Verratti
Good high press. Shuameni. It's with Kingsley Coman. Griezmann prepared to fire. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. And they will make the change now. And easily cut out in the end. And we've entered the final five minutes. And continues his run. Pellegrini. Offside the decision. Kunde. Upa Mercado. Teo Hernandez now. Not totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. That is tackling of the highest order. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.